All right, welcome to the first episode of Full Day of Eating with me. My name is Jake. I'm the owner and founder of Dedicated to Discipline. Um, so today we're going to be going over a full day of eating. This is a very average full day of eating for me, um, except we are going to be going out to eat today. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I make that work with my macros. Uh, so let's get started. So my calories for the day are 2,025 calories. And then my macros, the only macros I track are my protein. So my protein is gonna be 204 grams for today. Um, as I just said, I do not track carbs or fat. So I'll consume as much of that as I want, obviously, as long as I stay within my calories. So as you can see, it is just about 9.30 a.m. The reason why I'm eating so late today is because I am going to be going out to eat. Um, and now when it comes to my breakfast, I don't really like to have a big breakfast simply because I'm not a big breakfast person. Um, I can have a huge breakfast and literally be hungry within 30 minutes. So that's why I tend to stay away from it. So for today, I'm just going to be having a protein shake uh, with this Body Tech whey protein isolate. This is the protein that I pretty much exclusively use now. Um, it tastes really good. It's pretty cheap. You can see the macros on it here, 110 calories, 25 grams of protein. We're going to be having that with some milk, and then I'm also going to be having an energy drink. So I have my protein shaker here, set that on the scale, and then we'll go ahead and turn on the scale. The scale's been being a little weird lately. The scale then comes to zero. I'm then going to use 360 grams of milk. We came to 363. And then I'm going to be using two scoops or 61 grams of this protein powder. Before we add it, we're going to hit zero on the scale. Add 60 grams. Fifty nine grams is fine. So I'm also going to be having a three D, which is Christian Guzman's energy drink. Um, so you can see the calories here. If it will focus, uh, calories are fifteen, carbs are seven, but two of those are sugar alcohols. I really like these. They're reasonably inexpensive, uh, and they taste pretty good. So like I mentioned, I'm going to be going out to eat today. Uh, I'm planning on not spending more than a thousand calories on the meal. Um, and so when I'm going out to eat like this, I'm going to be spending a lot of calories. I'm going to make it so that my day revolves around that meal. So, you know, it wouldn't be good to have a big breakfast and then have that thousand calorie meal. And then that's it for the day. That's not what we want. So I know I'm going to be spending about a thousand calories there. Um, this is relatively low calorie. Obviously the energy drink is really low calorie. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Also, when it comes to energy drinks, um, I know a lot of people think that they're bad. Um, I'll tell you that there's no evidence at all to indicate that energy drinks are bad. Uh, so I would just consume them, you know, not regularly, but as you'd like. Um, I probably have one to three a week. Um, I used to be the kind of person that was consuming a couple a day. Um, I'm not like that anymore. Uh, I drink more coffee than anything. Actually, something I've been taking recently is this. It's called Ignite 
by Mountain Ox. Um, so this is a um, clean energy supplement. Uh, so it's got 200 milligrams of caffeine, uh, 10 calories per scoop, and you only need one scoop. Um, so I found that this stuff is pretty good because it allows me to not have a big crash, which is what it's claimed to fame is. So I'll take that. And then I won't feel like I need to go to sleep later in the day, which has been really helpful. So I'm going to finish drinking this. I'm also going to have that 3D. And then my next meal is actually going to be the meal at the restaurant. So I will show you guys what I'm going to be having. Um, I'm going to be putting the calories of this meal up on the screen. We'll see right here. Um, and yeah, I will see. All right, so let's go ahead and add those items into my fitness pal. So this is on the diary page of my fitness pal. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit add food under breakfast. And then we're going to search for milk. You can see here I have milk non-fat. Hit that. And then we use 360 grams. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the check mark. And that adds it to breakfast. Next, we're going to add the protein powder. So this is the entry that I use for just about all of those body tech protein powders, except for the peanut butter one. The peanut butter one has ground peanuts in it, so it's a little bit higher calorie. Uh, but otherwise, this is the one that I'll use for all the other entries. It's easier than just looking for each individual uh, kind of protein. So I'll change this to two scoops, hit save, and then you can see it changes the nutrients accordingly. And then we'll hit the check and it adds. Next, we need to add the 3D. Once again, all the 3Ds are the same. So we'll go ahead and use this entry and then we'll hit the check again. And that is all for breakfast. All right, guys, so I'm here at Yard House. Um, I think I've been here one time, but it's been a little while. Uh, I looked at their menu online, and it looks like they have numerous options between 800 and 1,000 calories. Uh, specifically right now, I think I'm looking at the, I think they're like poke nachos or something like that. I think that they're about 900 calories. So I think that that is probably what I'm gonna be getting. Um, but I'm gonna look at that menu a little bit more and see, and I will let you guys know. I'm also gonna be taking pictures and everything. Maybe a little bit of video, but we'll have to see. All right guys, so it's about 1.45. I just got done at the restaurant. Um, I did end up getting the poke nachos. Uh, so, so on the menu, I said that they're 870 calories. Now that includes avocado. Um, and I did not have any avocado because I'm allergic. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that they took off a quarter of an avocado. So I'll take an average calorie estimate of what that is. I'll remove that from the calorie total. Um, and then I'm also going to estimate that there was three ounces of tuna on it. Um, so I will figure out the calories and protein for that. I'll put that in as a, uh, as a macronutrient by itself. And we'll go through all of that together here, uh, going through the MyFitnessPal entry. Okay, so you can see here with the poke nachos that I got. Um, so we're going to go ahead and enter this into MyFitnessPal. Um, so first I went ahead and researched how much a quarter of an avocado is. Um, it's going to be roughly 80 calories. So we're going to go ahead and subtract 80 calories from the total of what the projected calories were, which was 870 calories. So that puts us at a total of 790 calories. So let's go ahead and enter that. So I'm going to go to diary here on my fitness pal. I'm going to go down to lunch. From here, I'm going to go ahead and search for tuna. And I'm going to search for raw. So 
So I'm going to try this first entry. It says 100 grams is 144 calories. Now we're looking for about three ounces. So we're going to go with one ounce here. Change the one to three. That takes us to 122 calories. So we're going to go ahead and hit the check mark to enter. Now we need to enter the rest of the calories. So we already said that the total for lunch was going to be 790 calories. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our calculator and take 790 minus 122. So 790 minus 122 equals 668. Now how I'm going to enter the rest of this is I'm just going to enter it as carbohydrates. So it doesn't really matter whether we enter it as a carb or a fat. We don't want to enter it as a protein simply because we want to hit an actual protein goal. So we're going to take 668 and we're going to divide that by four. That gives us 167. So we're going to go ahead and enter 167 grams of carbs. So let's go back to my fitness pal. We're going to enter carbs. You can see the first entry is carbs and carbs. It's got that green check by it. So, you know, it's verified. Servings, we're going to go ahead and put in 167, like we said. Hit save, and you can see the 668 calories comes up, 167 carbs. We'll go ahead and hit the check mark. And that gives us our entry for lunch. So let's go ahead and look at our nutrition. So for the day, we have a total of 82 grams of protein. Uh, 195 carbs and five fat. Now, as we have already mentioned, the carbohydrates and the fat do not matter, only the protein. So we still do need 121 grams of protein. So if we go back to our diary here, okay, so you can see that we still have 121 grams of protein left. So we're going to go back to our calculator. We're going to type in 121, multiply that times 4, and that gives us 484. So we know that we still have 484 calories left for protein. So our total calories that we have left are 869. We'll call it 870. So we do 870 minus 484. We have 386 calories remaining for other sources of food of whatever we want. So we're going to go ahead and divide that by four. And that means that we can have 96.5 grams of carbs, grams of protein, or it would be a little bit different for fat, but somewhat close. So as you can see, we still have a good amount of protein left to hit for the day but we do have some freedom with our carbs and fat remaining. So I will see you for dinner. All right, so for dinner, I went ahead and had a skirt steak and I'm gonna show you guys how I cook that here. So I have a cast iron pan that I'm spraying lightly with nonstick cooking spray. Um, you'll notice that my pan is raging hot. It's already smoking as soon as I put the spray in. I'm gonna go ahead and put the steak in you will see how fast that I cooked this steak. Now, this video is sped up a little bit just so that you guys don't have to sit through a couple minutes of me cooking the steak, but it's not sped up that much. So I think I cooked this steak in about three or four minutes. Um, now it is a pretty thin steak, but I really recommend this method to any kind of thin steaks out there. So that's skirt steak, uh, anything else like that. Um, so this steak is seasoned with salt, pepper, uh, garlic powder, and I think some paprika, and that's it. Um, now this is also a Wagyu skirt steak from Snake River Farms. So it is a little bit more high quality than what you would get in the grocery store, but you can definitely still do this from skirt steaks that you would get in the grocery store. So you can see, I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. We got a really nice char going that's not burnt at all. So 
if you have color on your stick like that, don't think it's burnt. That's all flavor right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep cooking this steak. Um, I'm also having some asparagus with this just because we need a lot of protein. This steak is gonna have a lot of fat with it too, so that's where we're gonna get a lot of our calories. I'm also going to throw in some rice vinegar here. I'm gonna go ahead and put on a lid and then I'm gonna let that steam a little bit. And so this steak is gonna be cooked pretty rare. Um, once again, this is a really high quality steak, so I don't wanna cook it too much. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and steam it with that vinegar, give it a little bit more acidity, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take off the lid and the steak will be all done. Now, what I'm not gonna show is that I cooked the asparagus in the same pan um, using pretty much the same exact technique. And that was my dinner. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about putting this into my fitness pal. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter, hit dinner, and then I'm gonna go ahead and type in skirt steak. You see skirt steak raw. I am having 5.8 ounces. And then I'll hit enter, that adds it into dinner. And then if we look at my nutrition here, um, it get, gave me a decent amount of protein. Like I said, it gave me a pretty good amount of fat. All right, so then let's go ahead and put in the asparagus. So once again, I'm gonna go to dinner, type in asparagus. Now you'll find that for asparagus, there's a bunch of different options. Uh, I'm doing mine by grams, which is how I recommend that you do it. Um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do it by ounces, which is how I recommend you do it. You can either do it in ounces or grams. I'm gonna put in the amount that I'm having, which is four ounces, put that in. And you can see that we have still a decent amount of protein to hit. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to type in uh, another protein shake here. Um, so I'm going to lessen the milk just because it's so calorie heavy with carbs. Um, and I really don't need more carbs. I need some more protein. So I'm going to go ahead and put in protein and then I'm going to work on adjusting this amount until I get however much protein that I need. So you can see I added in two scoops. I still need 27 grams of protein. Um, so obviously that is not ideal for the day, but when it comes to a day like this, having that out to eat meal kind of sets you off. Uh, as far as for your protein for the day. So this is the kind of uh, sacrifices or whatnot that you might have to make in order to make eating out work. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put in that milk amount to try to get in some more calories and some more protein. And so I decided that for the rest of the day to try to get in some more calories along with some more uh, protein, I'm going to have some lemon pudding. Um, this lemon pudding from Kroger, actually all of the puddings from Kroger that are sugar-free are really good. Um, I'm assuming that the name brand Jello is about the same as far as calories. Um, so keep that in mind if you're looking for a good relatively low calorie snack. Um, so you can see here on my nutrition, I still have 11 grams of protein that I need to hit. That's assuming that I hit my designated amount of protein that I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower this amount of milk since I've already hit my calories, and I'm gonna work on increasing the amount of protein powder that I have. So now if we look at my nutrition, I'm three grams away from my protein. I am 32 calories over, but we have an 85 calorie leeway here. So that's 85 calories over or under. So I am going to go ahead and reduce my protein just a little bit to make those calories a little bit closer. I'll be a little bit further away from my protein, but I'm okay with that. So I'm now five grams of protein away from my goal, but I am closer to my calorie goal. And that concludes today's full day of eating. Um, so I did not film a outro for this video simply because it was so late in the day. Um, believe me, I did 
eat that pudding and have that protein shake. Uh, that steak that I showed was absolutely amazing. I think that that might be the last uh, Wagyu steaks that I have in my freezer. So I'm kind of bummed out about that, but they were good while they lasted. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's full day of eating video. Like I said, this is the first of many. I think that these kinds of videos are really helpful, especially for those of you that are new to macros and calories, uh, especially using my fitness pal can be kind of a uh, difficult aspect of the diet when you first get into it. So I hope that these are helpful. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. That's where I am most active. You can find me at Dedicated to Discipline, and that is all for today. Thank you guys so much.